I'm sure you, like me, are just as concerned about all of the big lie Republicans running this year, especially at the state and local levels. And I know that's why our Bridge to Democracy initiative is so important. But has Doug Mastriano talked at all about the events of January 6, 2021? Doug Mastriano is a poster child for the big lie. He was at January 6th, and he will tell you he was there peacefully protesting. But Kate, I don't know a lot of protests that I've been to where I feel comfortable crossing police barricades in the middle of an armed insurrection against the government. Mastriano was there during the attempted coup. He was an active participant in it. And he also used his campaign cash to fund uh, travel down to Washington for that event. But more importantly, he has been peanuted by Congress for his efforts to send false slates of electors to Washington and to overturn the 2020 election. So he was part of this group of really extreme far right ultra MAGA Republicans who tried to come up with these lists of false electors that they could send to Congress who would do their bidding and just entirely circumvent democracy. So this is a really important issue that I want Pennsylvanians who are listening to this to really take to heart. It's the fact that if a Democrat were to win in 2024, I have a huge doubt that if Doug Mastriano is governor, he will certify that election because he said so. He said that he is going to do whatever he can in order to secure the election for Donald Trump in 2024. He doesn't just believe in the big lie that the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump, but he wants to take that false belief and move it forward into 2024. So if we care about the legitimacy of our elections, and again, American Bridge does, which is why we have this Bridge to Democracy program, this race is incredibly important, not just for Pennsylvania, but for the country.